So I'm going to show you guys a really easy military tactic to take a city within like the first about 15 turns of the game, 15, 20 turns of the game. And I'm going to use, you can do this with any civilization. So we're going to use Mexico here. Now you're probably not playing on Emperor. We're going to use a lukewarm difficulty like Duke, which has the enemy AI at 10% reduction compared to you. And we're going to use a medium sized map with 12 nations. All right, so instead of using a settler, what we're going to do is we're going to look for a victim, and we're going to attack a kingdom and try to take a city. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is try to get my feast. Now, we're not going to be... This is not a pure military build. This is a military start and having a defensive military army. Now, we get an expert with Mexico, so I can crank up my money. Um, I don't want to do that, though, because I want to show you how to do this with any nation, and money is actually important because we'll be rushing production. This will also be a guide showing you how to rush production properly. Now, we're not using a settler, so we don't care about food. Uh, wealth we do not want to use whatsoever uh, because we will need it for the rushing. So what we're going to do is just spam uh, three spearmen. And materials will be the main kicker for this. Now, we're not going to need anything beyond these three spearmen. I'm, I can rush them now for 45 gold, or I can wait one turn and rush them for much cheaper. Uh, usually it's actually 75 gold, so that's a little weird. Uh, so 20 gold instead of 45. Uh, technologies you could go straight for archery if you wanted to really ramp up this strategy you, with the persians you can use the zerg strategy but i just want to show you guys how to do it and play the game normally because it's a really good strategy instead of using settlers so we got our first spearmen cool uh we'll do one turn of construction and then we will accelerate and let's keep going all right so one more to go and i have enough to accelerate the last one so that's the third spearman okay now we have enough for a battalion so what we're going to do is going to come over here and de deploy force tab come to a symbol formation and go to battalion now this battalion counts as just one of your land force caps all right so if you're doing one unit you're denying yourself a massive massive amount of your power so i could do two of these technically now if i wanted to and i kind of do i would go that route but what we're going to do is do our first dwelling and then we're going to do a workshop and I'm going to make baskets in that workshop to increase my city production. So it's a pretty good way to start the game right there. Uh, early city production hack. All right, cool. We've found somebody. So we need to find their house and we need to steal it. And that is the name of the game. And what's cool about this methodology is you will have a full city. And usually cities are built in areas that are perfect city. Like they're usually the second city they build. And they're usually built in areas of high fertility. So they're typically perfect. Now you can focus and take anyone. I would not attack Boudica, though, because she gets 33% force strength in a retaliation war, which anyone you do this to will be able to initiate against. <laughs> so yeah, don't do this to Boudica. Unless you like to be punished. All right, here it is. So over here, we're going to put the fancy feast in. I kind of neglected it. You should take your time and do everything, you know, correctly. Uh, in the workshop, we'll get things going. Uh, we got our first claim. So just do everything as you normally do it. You know, we want wheat first. Let's go for the wheat. And here is the two. Here is our army. All right. And I'm going to put my scout on auto. Go into archery net. All right. And usually these cities are not well defended. So I'm going to come over here. Declare war, and I'm just going to do a skirmish. Now, this is Persia, and Persia is actually kind of an ass. So I'm going to declare war on Persia. In a skirmish mode, I can do whatever I want. All right, so now we're going to go for farm. Our crafter is idle. We're going to go for a basket, just one basket, and we're going to put that into the dwelling for one city production. We didn't pick up anything. Now, I could put my expert in there, but again, I want to show you guys how to do this with any faction leader. I am now at war with him. Now, he actually has a massive uh, cap. He's probably one of the worst pe people to attack outside of Boudicca because he has one of the largest armies. However, I think I'm going to be able to take this city well before he knows what I'm doing. All right, we got our first Paragon. I usually go for anything for technology. Uh, build production in all cities seems like a really good one. Uh, these aren't these aren't advices because your Paragons are going to be all random. But uh, that's just what I'm the way that I look at things. All right, cool. There's also two cities right here I could have taken. Um, and also, if you go the military route, it does put you in a position to start burning things to the ground. You can see I'm already in Tier 2. Okay. All right. We have now taken the city. Now, technically speaking, I could go for more of his cities. However, he does have quite the army. His army is 
better than mine. I'm going to assimilate this city, and I'm going to put myself in a defensive position. I'm going to come down and talk to him, and I can't get out of the war at all. So I do need a, a better army than him. Over here, I'm going to place another farm. All right, now I have 39 strength because I'm healing. So his army will not probably be able to take me. He's going to try to go for my capital. And that's actually relatively hard to do. I'm going to do the hunting cabin there. But now I have a city that has, you know, everything already built. And it's much more powerful than any of the cities that I could get up. It's going to do great. I'm going to put a feast. And I'm going to put, I could put a basket here for plus one city production, plus 10 prosperity. And then over here, I could also get more baskets. We're just going to do infinite basket making because I'm going to start using it as a amenity for that plus one uh, production early game. Very viable. And you get prosperity out of it. I don't... I'm going to do negative 100 wealth. All right. Now remember, you have the ability to rush things. So I can rush this farm. You know, use your money. I ha I haven't been using my money to rush anything, and that's really silly of me. So it does look like he kind of backed off. I do believe he's sending an army over here. Uh, we just need to now exit this engagement. And we're going to be in really good shape. So we're going to get our granary up over here. I think what I'm going to do is pull uh, an archer up and rush production. And I'm going to break one of my rules. Just out of an abundance of caution. That I think his army is coming this way. I want to get a defensive unit up. And that defensive unit should be able to run any kind of timers out. All right, so he's over here with 31 strength. His reserves are next. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. He cannot take my power right now. I'm going to just stay in a defensive position. So now I've weakened my enemy. I've kind of identified another target. Australia would be a good place. I could burn this city. I could take this city, burn the city. And I got a really good empire going here. And like I said, they usually pick locations that are perfect for cities. You can see he picked an area with a plus four food. Okay, so I actually am okay. Now we have 11 strength. Now when you go into fortify mode, it will increase that. All right, I just needed to... Yeah, trade alliance. I just needed to ward off any attacks. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of things that I'm not doing correctly in this video. Like, you know, min-maxing this and that. That's not the intent of this video. My intent of this video is to quickly show you the strategy used to take and hold a city without using a settler. And also, it gives you an early game army. So my army is probably far superior to Australia. And if I wanted to right now, I could easily just start massing because I have a two land force. I could have massed archer units, pulled them together, and I could start burning him down. But I need to exit this war, and that's going to end in about... I can end it now. So I'm going to propose an end to the war, and he will either accept it or not. Now we are fighting, and I am a little bit more powerful than him. I am a bit concerned he's going to send reinforcements. He declined my offer. He is actually a much more powerful person than I am. This will put him at 24 to my uh, 27 to my 30. So yeah, you can see that he's trying really hard to take this settlement back. Again, he is one of the harder people to take in the game. So, you know, uh, probably don't go after him. I, I just like to bite off more than I can chew sometimes. So we got this little area down here. All right. I'm just going to continue getting the farms up around my city. My crafter is idle. I got my grain going. I will use grain as an accelerant. I will now use wealth as an accelerant that I'm not using it to enhance production. And yes, I love Mexico. <laughs> Mexico is OP. Yeah, I don't care about having good relations with Australia because I plan on killing all of them. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So now we're at 16 out of 20. I'm going to once again try to propose a, a piece. Uh, we're at 10 and that. Okay. Uh, four turns. Okay, they will not be able... They took my army out, but they will, They had to kill the army before the city. They will not be able to take the city in time. So all of that really was just a war of attrition, right? So you can do whatever you want here if you want to build a watchtower to get a uh, higher combat, but they will not win. That wasn't entirely perfect, but everything he, that I've shown you, the principles, everything is in play, okay? The war is over. There's now a 20-turn cooldown. They're pissed at me. They may eventually try to go to war with me again. So you want to put some archers over here. But I took an area that had horses. Uh, that has, you know, get the gathering hall back up. Has an immense amount of value. Typically, it's better to go for, you know, places that are 
closer to you and weaker opponents. But that is how you you spam rush spears instead of settlers to get your second city. And it's a fun way. If you use the Persians, you can amass a big army and you can actually just completely focus on combat. Uh, I had a whole Let's Play where I learned a lot of this stuff, but it's really, really interesting stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.